wait, it's 12 o'clock this in afternoon. So good afternoon, you guys. Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Shanae, aka so effortlessly sexy. AKA she always got something to say. <clears throat> Y'all, I'm a little rest because I just got out the bed, just got out the shower. So I was like, let me turn my camera on and say hey to my babies over here and get my little day started. I am about to um get myself dressed. I'm about to get myself dressed and head out to the store real quick. Cause y'all know I always gotta go to the store. Um yeah, I'm gonna take y'all outside with me. It's just a quick little store run. <clears throat> so I just came back yesterday, y'all was out of town. Um went back home for my granny's birthday weekend. Her birthday was last Thursday, um, the 29th of February. What's today? Oh, today is February 4th. It's a Monday, you guys. And I am never on this camera on a Monday. I'm usually editing my weekend vlog. But there isn't one. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't do a weekend vlog this time because I had all intentions on doing it. But that's just not the way it played out this weekend when I went back home. Um, I had a lot of fun, though. We celebrated Granny. She was filled with so much, was surrounded with so much love. She had a ball as well just by having her kids, grandkids, and some of her great-grandkids around. So, we just had a great time or whatever. But like I said, um, I didn't pull out the camera because that was, um, I was just living in the moment, you guys. Living in the moment. And it was a lot going on. Saturday, um, it poured <laughs> like torrential rain all day okay and we were still outside in it <laughs> me my mom my aunties we were still outside in it honey one thing about us new yorkers we gonna be outside rain sleep or snow and outside shopping at that <laughs> like i mean it was a whole mini hurricane that felt like outside and we a, 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 us and a whole bunch of everybody else because one, one thing about it baby, them parking lots was so up at the malls we was at the gateway at gateway them parking lots were so up every single one of them okay there's over 100 stores out there at gateway so yeah <clears throat> but anyway um I had a really fun weekend. Came home last today, Sunday, unpacked, unwinded, and um, I just, you know, hung around and got my bearings back. Because, you know, after a little bit of a long weekend or whatever, for me at least, I needed some rest. And, um, yeah, so we here with it today. Like I said, I'm about to get dressed and head outside real quick. And I'll be back, y'all. Oh, yeah, y'all. I forgot to tell y'all I got some braids. <laughs> I went to 125th in Harlem. I know if you know, you know, okay? And I, um, on Friday morning, I got there and got my hair braided. I'm just putting some mousse on here. This is just some, like, white rain volumizing mousse from years ago. <laughs> I only put this in my hair if I have braids. Last time I had braids was years and years ago. So, yeah. So, I'm just, um, going to put a couple, couple, um, puffs of mousse on the braids. And then we're going to head out. They just are uh, waist length braids. See, they come all the way down. Yeah, I stand at like five foot six. So, give you an idea of how long they fall on me. It was absolutely gorgeous outside the other day. Well, the, the whole week, well, not the whole weekend, yesterday. Because like I told y'all, Friday was real nice, but I was in the salon chair for the majority of that. Um, I got done at like, she started my hair on Friday at like 10 a.m. And I ain't walk out of there until about 4.30. So, and um, make sure. Because one thing, baby, I make sure all this mousse is settled in because 
I'm going to be working outside with no white stuff just sitting on my hair. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice Friday. Saturday, like I said, it was a mess. And Sunday, it was absolutely gorgeous. Yesterday, it was gorgeous. Okay, oh, it was definitely giving spring slash summer vibes. I think yesterday it got up to maybe about 70 to 75 degrees here in the northeast. And I enjoyed every day of it. You know, I was traveling back home for a couple hours out of the day. But it was all good, honey. My auntie, Debbie, bought me some earrings, y'all. So I'm going to just see which ones I want to throw on. She got me a pair of bamboos. She got me a pair of bamboos. Oh, this is just, I guess, a little case. You could throw them in when you're traveling. That's cute. But she got me a pair of bamboos. And she got me a pair of these. I forget what you call these. But these is real cute. I think I'm going to put these ones on today. So... Today seems like it's another beautiful day outside. That's why I said, let me go ahead on and get out here in it before the sun disappears for the day. But, um, I think it's only about to be 60 today, but that's not, that's great. It's fucking March. Okay, the beginning of March, so we'll take it. But, y'all, look. I, w I hope this works. I don't know, but my favorite black bag this part here detach you know this is the part that attaches to there to, to close it it finally broke off so i just put some um gorilla fix all glue on it and i was just letting it sit for now i hope it worked because i absolutely love this bag this is my, my one of my favorite black solid black bags and i'm gonna be so mad if I got to order another one, because I'm going to order another one. <laughs> if this if this little makeshift fix up here doesn't work. Only thing is that the glue is like messy. So it look kind of ugly. You see that around it? I don't like that. But I don't know, y'all. This might not. It's not sealing the way I would like. Let me see. Nope, it didn't work. Came right off. Fuck. Damn, man. I really, really love this. Uh, oh, well. Find another bag to put my stuff in right now. But let me get my shirt and sh on, y'all. And get out this room. I mean, yeah, well, get out this room. Get out this door. So I can um, <clears throat> come back in and show y'all what I got. Because y'all know I always got something. <laughs> I don't know why are we looking so washed out when I'm outside. Excuse me. I don't know why I be looking washed. Like I gotta fix the settings on my camera because when I'm outside, I look mad like real, real bright. But y'all came to get me some olipop. I mean, some yeah, olipops. Uh, great. It's my favorite. And I need another. They don't have the flavor on So. Like the flavor I want, so oh, um, I wanted to look at their flowers too because I need some new ones. But what can flowers be trash? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not coming that way. Look, these are, I don't, they're dying. I just need, I need something with my face. Yeah, no, we're not going to do the Walmart flowers. So, 
Unfortunately, no. Yeah, well, at the checkout, I freaking accidentally hit cash bag. And so instead of me hitting no, I'm still hitting fucking money. Like, and I took out $80. Now I gotta go all the way to my bank to put the shit back in there. Because one thing about it, baby, if I keep cash out unnecessarily, which I never hardly ever do, I never keep cash out because cash gets away from me real bad. <laughs> and besides, I'm just a, a, um, a, a plastic kind of girl, you know? I like my card. I haven't used cash in years. Like, to just be paying shit with cash. Unless it's, it was a requirement or something. But other than that... But I'm so annoyed. 80 whole dollars. Like, why would I do that? Anyway, I got my hazelnut iced coffee. They didn't give me enough sweet cold foam. Like, he barely gave me any. It tastes so good, though. <laughs> oh, you know, when you get that first initial sip after so long of not having one. Yeah, that's how it's given. I mean, that's what it's given. It's given nice and cold and crisp and absolutely delicious. <laughs> so now I'm going to go to the bank and set up back in the house like I planned. Because one thing about it, I ain't want to be out here. Today is my off day, y'all. I don't know if I mentioned it to y'all. probably have, but I'm going to say it again. Mondays, they're usually my mental days, meaning where I turn off from everything, the world, I true, I make, you know, I don't really come outside unless it's a necessity or whatever. In other words, I don't come out to do fun stuff or anything like that. On Mondays, I stay in the house. I just regroup, refocus, recoup from the weekend. And then that gets me ready to go on with the rest of the week, you know? So I ain't really planning on being out here um, to do much or nothing. I thought my cat needed some more food, which he actually did as of last night. He was running low, so. But um, I see Tim went and must have went to the store this morning and got him some because he has some brand new a brand new bag there. So I was like, you know what? Let me still just come out. Let me put the win put the windows up. I was like, you know what? Let me just come out. So um, yeah, I should have went the other way. Whatever and still get some flowers which I didn't get because I know Walmart usually don't have no flowers they flowers be trash but I would just came to check anyway and then get me some iced coffee from the Dunkin out of there and y'all saw I just got my two um grape olipops yo the grape flavor olipops is it honey like I, those are the best ones for me I've only tried that one and um, the strawberry vanilla, which I like the strawberry vanilla too. But grape is top fucking tier. I have not had in, uh, any of the other flavors from them. <clears throat> like, I don't... I haven't had the lime. I think it's the lime, lemon lime or lime lemon, something like that. I haven't had that one. It's in the green can. I think that one may give ginger ale vibes so one day when i'm feeling up to it you know for trying that one out i'm gonna buy that one and try it and the cola or well, the root beer one I'm, I'm i don't drink root beer so i'm not gonna get that and i know they have a cola one but i have yet to see the cola ones in walmart yet i know they probably got it at shop right because they got a bigger selection there so but i'm gonna try the cola one too but for the most part i just be drinking the strawberry vanilla and the grape the grape is really good. I should have got more than two cans, though. <laughs> Only got two cans. But one for tonight, one for tomorrow. Yo, why y'all ain't like um, Mia Copa? Why y'all ain't like that movie? <laughs> the Tyler Perry movie with Kelly Rowland and Javante Fawn as Rose. Why y'all ain't like that movie? I thought it was such a good little watch. I mean, it wasn't nothing to brag about. Be like, oh my God, you got to see it kind of movie. But... She gave, Miss Kelly gave in her role. Her and Trevante gave. I liked the sh the movie. I really did. I think they did a good job. Um, it absolutely did give Tyler Perry vibes. Because, you know, he always going to put that play like um, scripts in there. And or, you know, just bad acting all together. <laughs> so, but that's why I said Kelly and Trevante ate they roll up. And with old girl from Z, uh, Z Valley, P Valley. What's her name? Um... Y'all know the girl that was we had the white baby baby father in P Valley. She's in it. 
yeah, so <clears throat> I like the movie, but y'all was eating that movie up and Tyler Perry up online. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, Tyler need to get arrested. This is enough is enough. He need to be arrested for these scripts he writing and these bad actors and mm -mm -mm. I enjoyed it, honey. But anyway, um, oh yeah, Love is Blind Season 6. We gotta talk about Love is Blind Season 6, y'all, because first of all, it's a great season. Let's just start there. Love, love, love this season. But some of them, we, Kenneth and Brittany, I feel so bad for Brittany. Because he really wasted that girl time and played in her face. No, the whole time he won Clay. Okay? He made it very clear to me, at least, that Clay is who he fucking wanted on the show. He wanted to be in the pods on the other side of the wall. He wanted it to be Clay. Okay? Not none of the fucking women up there. He was mad rude. Like, you know you ain't like that girl from the beginning. Or none of the other girls. Did y'all peep? Did y'all peep when um it was... I forget what episode it was. But it was like in the first... Or maybe the second installment video. So, you know, they kind of like Netflix break it up in like sections. They'll show a, a little bit of episodes first. Like the first three or whatever maybe. And then they'll break it up to the next. But anyway. I want to say it was in the second installment. And where they was all <clears throat> on a little vacation. Or honeymoon. Well, no, it ain't honeymoon yet because they ain't married yet. But anyway. When they went to like Mexico. I think it was Mexico. And, um... Clay and AD was talking and as always Kenneth brought his old big self over there and started himself and I think Clay and AD was kissing or whatever and he just got he was like oh turn me on turn me on some shit like that he was saying he was definitely saying he's turned on he, he was just getting mad hype and like excited seeing fucking Clay <laughs> like be intimate with his girl like I was like ew that was it for me from there but they ain't even on there no more that I can see. I mean, the couple, because he broke up with her, I believe. Brittany, I mean, Kenneth. But back to AD and Clay now. I like them together. I love me some Clay. I love me some Clay. I love the way he talks. I love the way he's honest up front. But I think, you know, you know, he, he kind of, he need to stop saying shit like, you know, all he saw in a marriage what he saw in the marriage with his parents was his father cheating after the first seven years and that's all he's been around is men who cheat so he's just hoping he don't fuck it up for them and I, I and i'm like boy cut it out you're a grown ass man i don't give a fuck what you saw when you was coming up as a child who cheated on who you ain't got to do that shit to your wife so don't even go there why well, ain't go through the drive through y'all because i'm busy running my mouth i'm going through the drive through mm. but yeah I was like, he better not fuck it up with AD. Because AD is that girl, and she know it, honey. <laughs> AD know she is that girl. But um, let me get this money out, y'all, and pay these people. I don't even have no papers. I don't got no papers to put my money in, the, um, in this thing, y'all. I'm going to just give her my ID. Because I don't got no deposit slips. So. Because again, I don't be doing this. All right, y'all. Barbara the Builder is back. Okay. <laughs> I'm back, you guys. I got another piece of furniture for my glam room. I know, I know, I know. I always tell you guys I am done. I'm not getting anything else for this room unless it's just little here and there miscellaneous stuff. But I can't help myself. <laughs> it's like the more I chill in here and I see... You know, I look around, I, I always feel like I want something more or I need something else. So, with that being said, we are going to build my chairs. Yes, I said chairs, you guys. I, or, I mean, I said chairs. Well, I can't talk. 
yeah, I said I got some new chairs. <laughs> I know you guys remember my bench here. So this, guys, is coming out. <laughs> it was cute while it lasted in here. It's still cute, but I just, I just not feeling the vibes um, of, of it anymore. At least not in here. So we're gonna find another home for the for Miss Miss uh, Thing over here, and we're gonna put our something else over here. Here's the box of the new chairs and that right there y'all i'll show y'all what that is because y'all gonna be like girl <laughs> sit your ass down somewhere but anyway we about to open this up and get to building so come on difficult to build y'all because yeah, I'm so excited I wanted to keep this a secret from y'all because until I got them and I you know was able to open them and see them and but these chairs are so fire to me and I just think that they would be a much better fit for the vibes in the room than the bench I got the bench for um, a pop of color because as you can see, my room is pretty much black, a little bit of gold here and there vibes, and like a, like a, you know, bright, off-white, white-ish kind of vibes. So, but I did want the bench because I loved it. First of all, that color was so cute to me, but now that everything is like coming together, it's like, mm-mm, mm-mm. So yeah, you got my chairs. Oh shit, I got a the tools. The tools. Okay, so it's not it's not much at all. These are the tools for each chair, just the screws. So it's the same screws for each chair. Hey, nothing. That's cool. So this gonna be hopefully real quick. Just got the directions. Okay. Oh, the second step look a little complicated, <laughs> but I think I get it. But anyway, oh yeah, y'all. The only thing is like, damn, where I'm gonna put this bench at? <laughs> Tristan said he, he asked me to give it to him, but I don't want to give Tristan my chair because he ain't gonna take care of it in his room. So I'll probably just put it in my room for now. And then I'll leave it in there until I start to work on my actual bedroom and um, start decorating in there. And then this bench going to have to move on. I'll probably sell it and or, like I said, see who I could give it to, who's going to take care of it. Because I like my shit to be in, you know, if I'm giving you something or, you know, I like them to take care of it. Let me put this out here so we can have room. Okay, I got my handy dandy drill parts, which I don't think I'm gonna need because this thing only got, um, yeah, I ain't gonna need my drill, but I didn't know that yet. So, but anyway, y'all, um, let's get started. All right, so let's open up the legs first. I don't know why I put my scissors away, I might need them again. I'm so excited. <laughs> I loved these shoes when I saw them, you guys. I loved them. I was like, oh my God. These would be perfect. I'm hoping that um they look the way I want them to look in here, you know. 
But even if they don't, we gonna make it work, honey. Cause I ain't sending nothing back. I like these chairs. They they gonna work. Okay. <laughs> There's the, one of the legs. So cute. I'm so happy spring is in the air. I don't know how happy I am. I'm pretty sure you guys are too, the, those of us who live where we get winter. <laughs> I know. Y'all happy, just like me. And y'all, Easter. Remember when Easter used to only be in April, or is it just me? Because I don't remember Easter always being in April. I do not remember having um, a spring recess in March, ever, but when I was a kid. But I know with the leap years and so on and so forth, but it just seems like lately for the past couple years, Easter has been coming in April. But this year, I believe it's on May 31st, so yeah, that's still pretty much April. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so these are off. Is this, is this, are you supposed to move like this? Just, okay. All right, I mean, the directions it's given, open up at least one of these. I better keep them in the spots just in case. Okay, so these are D4s and M6 45s, whatever. All right, so step one basically mix leg C and leg B together. I hope these are labeled because. I don't see no labels on these. Are these the same size? Let me see. Because I feel like one is wider or bigger. Let me see. Okay, no, they're the same thing, but... Because one thing about it, once this gets together, I do not want to have to take this shit and take it apart because I done put a leg wrong or some shit. So I'm just trying to make sure that... It says C and B. They're not labeled, but I mean, it's only two legs per chair. So I guess, I guess that's what it is. Allen King. I'm not ready for spring at all, man. I mean, I got spring, nice spring little jackets and a couple spring pants here and there, but... It's not given I'm ready for spring. My wardrobe isn't ready for spring at all. <laughs> not at all. All right, one piece down. Dude, they are so fucking fire. Oh, they are so fire, y'all. Look at that. Look at this. Ah, oh, can y'all see this? I'm going to give y'all a better look, but... These are so fire, man. Okay. These are kind of small, but not small, but I mean like in height, but the bottom here, they are adjustable. So you, uh, yeah, you can adjust the height through with those little things on that bottom. So that's cool. I don't want them to be too high anyway. So we'll see when they um get up and I adjust them how far up they go. Like that. Ooh, fire. I'm going to put, you know, give you a better, closer look so you can see the actual detailing in, on the chair. I don't know if you can see it good from over there. So 
I'm so excited. Oh my god. Like. <laughs> Ain't that much taller. This one actually looks a little taller than this one. Let me see. Obviously, put the chairs over there and see what it's given. Put the chairs over there and see what it's given. But let me um move this bench. What is giving y'all? I definitely love them. Definitely love them. Let me see. Yes, I definitely love them. Obviously, I'm gonna get like a either like a stand up plant or a little table to go right here, like a little round table, like the 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 brass. Um, brass tables to go over here so and then maybe put a little plant on top a little small one something like this actually it'll probably be this <laughs> and just put right there on the top yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do and then then and only then <laughs> will I be done y'all but I like it I like it I like it. I'm just so used to, you know, the bench covering up that space and taking up that space. But because that little empty section right here is going to drive me crazy until I get the table. But I love it. I absolutely love this. I love these chairs. Y'all, let me let me let y'all get a better look at the chairs. Hold on. Hey, you guys, I just love it. I love, love, love it. Love how this turned out. I'm trying to brighten up this light. But anyway. I just love how it turned out, y'all. This is so cute. This is so cute. It fits right in. Kind of do wish they were a tad bit taller, like stood up a little bit taller. But it's that's that's not nothing big. I love these chairs. They are actually, um, they come. Uh, they say that they're dining room chairs, but obviously, you know. These are, to me, these are glam room chairs, honey. <laughs> but, of course, I'll leave the description below in case if you guys are interested. And these chairs come in a lot of different colors. Um, I love the gray tone ones, like that nice, dark, cloudy gray tone. Well, it's not dark. It's like a cloudy gray. I love those. They come in a lot of different colors, believe it or not. And they look so nice in every color. I mean, whatever fits your vibe. It's going to look nice in your space, in your dining room, if you use it for your dining room. But these chairs are bomb, yo. They really are. So I'm happy. Mm -hmm -hmm. Like I said. And it's going to look even cuter once the little table get in between. And, um, yeah. So, all right, y'all. Um, I got one more thing to show you guys. 
And that'll be it. This light is killing me. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to sit down for this one because that, that light got to go too. Like, it's annoying the hell out of me. I got to get another covering for that light because it's annoying. Like, it's just right in my way. Anyway, let's open this. <laughs> this ain't nothing special, y'all. But remember I told y'all that I wasn't going to be satisfied until I got... Hold up. So again, that light is right in my eyes. <laughs> Remember, I told you I wasn't going to be satisfied until I got another um, vase. So that's all this is. This is another vase. Hold up, y'all. I'm trying to get y'all to where my head ain't cut off and this light ain't in my goddamn view. So I found the perfect vase for me. Okay. Perfect vase. And it's small and it's cute. I like that one too, you guys. This one. That I bought originally, the like what last weekend I think I bought it. I like it, but I think I'ma just put this one away until um. Well, I'ma leave it in here for now until I get some new flowers. Cause you know, don't, remember those are fake flowers that came out of the two little purple um, vases there. But um, I think I'ma just gonna put that one up and save that one for when I do when I start renovating decorating reorganizing all of that to my actual bedroom that one will go nicely in there but this is the one that i chose it is so cute and small and very very light and it just sits like that it just sits like that that's all to it. Nothing special. It gives a little bit of an iridescent, um, hints of iridescent in it. Iridescent vibes. I love it. So cute. So, so cute. So, that's the one I'm going to um, be using in this room because it does not take up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know y'all like, girl, please put leave that, shit, leave that damn camera where it's at. But anyway... <clears throat> I like it because it's not going to take up too much room on the dresser. Take these down so y'all can get a little idea. I think it's, it, it looks really, really small from y'all view. Hold on, let me zoom it up for you. But I love it. I love it. That is the perfect vase for this space for me. To me, I wanted this little dainty, little, little cute, little compact vase, and then it's still, you know, wide enough at the top so you could get a, you know, a decent amount of flowers in there, and or roses or whatever you want to put in there. So I'm happy about that, but until I get my um, until I get some flowers to put in it we're gonna keep this one here i like this one too like i said and not that it's it don't that one don't take up much space at all but i just like this one i love that one so for this room but yeah y'all that's it that's all for this video thank you so much for watching as always i will be back with another one i'm gonna go get this edited for you guys so that um it could be up tonight this evening whatever um yeah because i ain't got nothing else going on for the day i'm trying to get that light out my face i don't got nothing else going on for the day so i'm gonna just let y'all go and start working on the video start getting edited and getting this garbage about the room that i made this nest but yeah I'm so excited about my chairs. I love them. I think they are such a better fit than the green. The green, like I said, it did go well, you know, because it had the brass legs. But And I did want that pop of color. But after looking at it for so long, I'm just like, eh, I don't like that in here anymore. <laughs> now the real fucking task is going to be, where am I going to put it now? Because just now dragging it out this room, 
the space in my room that I thought it may fit. I don't know, but I'm about to see. I'm about to see, but I don't know if it's going to fit in there. And I don't want, I have a place in my hallway here upstairs that I could put it, but I also have a cat. And I don't want my cat thinking that that's his new fucking bed, okay? So, no. <laughs> it's definitely not going in there or out there, so. But, all right, y'all, let me let y'all go. Like I said, let me go in there and see where I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put this damn going bench. And I'll holler at y'all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and share. Okay, love you guys. See you in my next one.